The Tesla Powerwall 3. It's probably the most popular home solar and battery system as we're going into 2025. But is it really the best? In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you five reasons why I believe the Franklin Whole Home Battery beats the Tesla Powerwall. The smarter way to go solar. All right, now in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you five reasons why I believe the Franklin Whole Home Battery System beats the new Tesla Powerwall 3. And the first reason is more usable battery capacity. Now with the new A-Power 2, Franklin is using the new lithium iron phosphate cells, which allows them to increase the usable battery capacity from 13 and a half kilowatt hours up to 15 kilowatt hours of usable power. Now, this also keeps an extra one kilowatt hour of storage in reserve, which allows the battery to have a black start capability, which we'll talk more about in the future. Uh, but essentially, there are a full 15 kilowatt hours of usable energy available per battery. And so for an average size US home, if you had to, you can achieve a whole home backup, uh, even running the home overnight off of battery power using just a single battery for an average size home. Now, in most cases, especially if you're watching this, if you have a larger home uh, with a 400 amp or 600 amp service, then typically you're gonna wanna use two or three of the A-Power batteries. But if you had to do it you know, on a limited budget to do a whole home backup for an average size US home, you could do it just with a single battery. All right, the second reason is because of the AC coupled architecture. Now, when we talk about AC coupled versus DC coupled battery systems, what we're talking about is where does the interface between the solar system and the battery system take place? Is it at the AC side of the system at the AC circuit breaker panel? Or is it on the DC side of the system where you, you typically have high voltage DC coming from your solar panels to hit the battery first? Now, there are pros and cons of each approach but one of the major advantages with an AC coupled battery system like the Franklin A-Power 2 is that it makes it super easy to retrofit battery storage to a home that has existing solar panels. Uh, AC coupled batteries pretty much work with any solar inverter out there. So whether you're doing a new installation, maybe you're using a solar inverter system like Enphase or Solar Edge, uh, or if you're coming in after the fact to retrofit and add battery storage to an existing solar home, an AC coupled solution means that you can leave all your existing solar equipment in place. You don't have to change any wiring on the roof. You don't have to void the warranty of your existing solar inverter. Pretty much all the work can be done at ground level at the AC circuit breaker panel. So it can save you a lot of time and headache when retrofitting battery storage. All right, the third major reason is because of the smart circuit control. Now, those of you who've been watching the channel for a while, you know I've been talking about this for years that Tesla is missing a, a, a legitimate load control solution. And to me, it doesn't make sense why. In fact, I've even commented in the past, I think Tesla ought to just buy a span smart panel so they can basically get that last missing piece of a smart home energy management system. Now, the reason these smart circuit controls are important is because, uh, well, really for two reasons. The first is if you're running in an emergency backup situation. So let's say the grid power is down, you're running on solar and battery power only, and let's say it's evening hours, so you have to power the entire home off the battery. Well, in that scenario, you don't necessarily want to run all the heavy loads in your house. In fact, if you could power off your non-essential high draw loads, like electric ovens and electric clothes dryers, that would allow you to stretch the running time of your battery so that you can ensure that you keep power on to the most critical systems, like water pumps or refrigerators. Uh, or maybe you have home office equipment. So by utilizing smart circuit controls, you can program the system under certain conditions to power off certain loads. So for example, you could set the system to where if the battery fell below, let's say 50% state of charge, you'd automatically cut off the clothes dryer or the air conditioner. Then wait till the next day when the sun comes back up and the solar takes over and recharges the battery, and then you can restore power to those heavy loads. So having a smart circuit control really helps you get the most running time out of your battery. Now, of course, the other advantage is helping you to avoid peak rates. So if, if you're watching this from California or Arizona, uh, then you're, you're familiar with what I'm talking about. You have certain on-peak hours and off-peak hours, and so the rate that you pay for electricity could be triple during your on-peak hours than what it's gonna be during your off peak. And oftentimes it's your heaviest loads that are causing you to buy electricity 
during these peak rate hours. Uh, think central air conditioning, for example. You know, your central air conditioning unit is going to be working hardest in the late afternoon when it's the hottest part of the day. That's also when the power company is charging you the highest rate for your electricity. So if you could draw that electricity from your battery and then after midnight when the, the, the rates are cheap or just wait the next day to, to the solar to take over and then you can recharge your battery. So that's another advantage of having smart circuit control. Franklin has it built in to their A-gate so you can get two smart circuits installed right there at the A-gate. It's, it's not a separate box or a separate piece of equipment. And as of this recording, Tesla just is not offering that. So. That's another major advantage. If you're looking to live a more sustainable lifestyle, lower your energy footprint, and become more energy independent, then Cumerit is the home electrification partner for you. Cumerit is our preferred home electrification partner, offering installation of bi-directional EV chargers, smart electrical panels, solar panels, battery storage, generators, and high efficiency heat pumps. Many of our clients start with solar panels or electric vehicles, then progress to whole home electrification. So if you're serious about becoming energy independent and you wanna work with a qualified and trusted partner, then click the link in the description below so you can learn more about Powerhouse by Cumerit and get in touch with an installer right away. All right, now the fourth reason Franklin Whole Home beats Tesla is having generator support. Now again, those of you who've been watching the channel for a while, you know that if you're preparing to run in a true off-grid environment uh, or to, to set your home up to survive a prolonged grid down event, then I recommend having a fuel burning generator to back up your solar and battery system. And what the generator gives you, it's basically it's just a third level of redundancy. So let's say grid powers down, your solar and battery system is working, but the battery is starting to be depleted, maybe because you're having inclement weather, so the solar panels aren't keeping up with recharging the battery fast enough. Well, the generator support option uh, just gives you another way that you can recharge your batteries. You don't have to run the generator all day. The idea would be to just fire up the generator for three or four hours, bring your batteries back full, and then you can go back to running off of solar and battery power. So it gives you a third level of redundancy and protection, uh, and it helps you stretch your generator fuel supply. Again, you're not running the generator all day, you're only running the generator long enough to recharge your batteries. And then finally, the fifth reason why Franklin Whole Home beats Tesla is the Black Start capability. Now, when we talk about Black Start, basically what this means is if the battery is depleted, if you've used all the usable energy in the battery, which in the case of the A Power 2 is 15 kilowatt hours usable energy, the Franklin battery keeps an extra kilowatt hour of storage in reserve so that the battery itself, the battery management system, the computer that controls the battery can stay on and accept solar power in to recharge it even while it's not putting any power to loads within the house. Now this is incredibly important because if the battery were to truly drain all the way out, then it would need a service technician to essentially come out and jumpstart the battery. Uh, to put enough of a minimal charge on the battery that the battery itself can turn on and then accept solar power in to recharge it the rest of the way. Uh, the way Franklin engineered their battery is there's a certain internal reserve, one kilowatt hour reserve just for internal operation only so that the battery can stay on for several days and accept that solar input to recharge as soon as it becomes available. Now some of the early generation batteries that weren't really set up for a true off-grid environment, when those batteries drained down all the way, they basically became bricks. And you had to have a technician go out there with a special charging device to put enough charge on that battery for the, the rest of the system to activate. As a solar installer and, and as a homeowner as well, you don't want to be dependent on waiting for a technician to come out to turn your battery back on, especially if we're in a grid down emergency situation. Uh, and I know you solar installers out there, you're, you're not going to want to roll trucks because one of your, your battery clients drain their battery out and they can't turn it back on without you going through some specialized procedure to restart or jumpstart the battery. So with that 100% black start capability out of the box, Franklin has another major advantage. So this has been a discussion of five reasons I believe the Franklin whole home system beats the Tesla Powerwall. Uh, as always, if you guys are getting good value from the videos that you watch on Solar Surge, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. 
Uh, and also go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. That way as we have new videos like this publishing, it'll come up on your feed and you can stay up to date with everything. Now, of course, if you're a homeowner, if you're in the process of looking at different solar and battery storage options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote for either of the, the two options that we discussed today uh, or any of the other leading solar and battery options, uh, as always, you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below here. You can set up a call with a solar surge expert uh, or just use the free online quote tool so you can see how much solar and battery storage costs in your area. Well, that does it for today's presentation. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.